Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to get the iPhone X gestures on any iPhone. In order to do this, you are going to have to be jailbroken on the Electro jailbreak. If you guys don't know how to do this, I will leave the link in the description below to a video that I made a couple days ago explaining exactly how to download it and how to install the tweaks. I am going to show you again how to install the tweak um, in this video. But yeah, you also are going to have to have this Filza Escape app, which I will show you exactly how where to get it from and the Zip app free. Uh, to get the zip app free, you want to go to the app store and you want to go to search and search for zip app free. Here you want to click on the top one, zip app free, and then just click download, download this one. For Filza Escape, you will want to go to this website right here. I will leave the link in the description below. Basically, when you get to this website, you're going to want to close this X on top, on the top left, it's an ad. Click on that, go to apps, go to tweak box apps. And you're going to want to go down to right here, Fills Escaped. Click install, install again. I'm not going to click install because I already have it downloaded. But after this, you want to go to settings, general, down to profiles and device management. You want to go to wherever the Fills Escape app is at. You want to go to it and then just click verify and verify again. And you're done. Once you have the Electra jailbreak, you have Zip App Free and Fills Escape. You want to go to this website. Again, I will leave the link in the description below. You want to go to this website and go down. Right here basically it's talking about what features it has. Siri, you can hold the power button to open Siri. Screenshots, you actually take a screenshot pressing the power button and the volume up button together. To completely turn off your device, you can either press the power button five times and it will ask you to turn off device, or you can force reboot it using the power button and the volume down button. Just hold both of those until the device turns off and the Apple logo shows up and then you can let go. Also apps is saying that you open the app switcher and you hold one of the apps and then you can either press the minus button or you can just swipe up and it will delete. If you go all the way down here to where it says fluid enabler is available in the form of a tar archive here for free, click on here and it will redirect you to this website. Right here you want to click the download button on the top right. Click it and then go to direct download. It will redirect you to this website right here. Here you want to click on open and zip app free. If it says a different app name, you want to go to more and copy to zip app. Uh, here it will redirect you to this app, click yes. And then you want to click on this blue folder and basically you're done. The next thing you want to do is go to fills the escaped. So right here, go to fills the escaped. Let it load, you're going to get an ad and then you want to close the ad, click skip right here in the bottom. And then the first thing you want to do is go all the way left, all the way back, I'm sorry. Go all the way back and all the way back, all the way until you get to the dash. Here you want to go to Bootstrap, Library, and SB Inject. From here you want to click on the button on the bottom right, these two little windows, and click Activate and Done. You want to click the folder with the A on the bottom left. And here it will open the Apps Manager. Here is where you want to get the files from the Zip App Free. Go down to where it says zip app free, go to document, imported files. All right, so I went ahead and deleted the fluid enabler from my device so I can show you guys exactly how to do it. What you wanna do here is go to fluid enabler, user, lib, SB inject. You wanna click edit, click on the first file, and then on the bottom left it says copy, click on that. And then you wanna go back to the little windows on the bottom right and go back to the window that you were at. Here, you wanna click on the paste button that's in the bottom left right there and click paste after this you want to go to the i and you want to go to sticky and you want to change the mask to 0777 and save and then you can go back and done you want to go back to the window that you were at before again you want to click edit you want to click on the other file you want to copy it and then you want to go back again and paste and paste click on the i again go to sticky Again, change the mask to 0777, save, back, and done. After this, you're basically done. What you want to do is go to Animode, and then just wait for it to go up. Go to Preview, and click Apply. All right, so once your phone turns back on, as you can see, it already took effect. Right here, you can see the flashlight button. You want to 3D touch it, and it actually turns on the flashlight. 3D touch it again, and it turns it off. Right here you can swipe up to open it and then you can just put your finger and here it doesn't you can't really see anything new but if you swipe up from the bottom 
you actually don't get the control center. You want to hold it. You want to actually swipe up from the bottom, hold it in the middle, and it opens the app switcher. Here you can just see all your apps like you would normally do. You can swipe back up if you would want to just go back home. To actually open your control center, since you can't swipe up to open it, you want to swipe up from the top right like you would on the iPhone X. Right here is going to open your control center and you can just swipe. I'm sorry, you can swipe up and close it. Uh, notifications, you swipe down from the left side and it opens them. Another thing that actually changes like the iPhone X is if you put your apps in wiggle mode right here, you can click done and it'll stop. The new way to take screenshot is by pressing your volume up button and your power button together and it goes ahead and takes a screenshot. To open Siri, you would hold the power button and it would open Siri. To close it, you can just swipe up. Okay, so using the swipe bar like the iPhone X is exactly the same. If you're in an app, you can swipe up and it opens the app switcher. Go back into app, whatever you want. You, want. you can actually swipe left and right into apps just like you would on the iPhone X right here. You can see I would swipe left and it would go to the other app. Swipe left, other app, swipe left, the other app, swipe left, the other app, and the same to swipe right. Or we'll just switch apps just like the iPhone X would. If you want to exit, just swipe up and you're back to the home screen. What is said on the website about closing apps is if you open the app switcher, you have to hold on one of the apps and then you can just either click the minus button to close the app or you can just swipe up and it closes like this, like that. It's pretty cool getting all these gestures just like you would on the iPhone X on any iPhone. And like I said, this is an iPhone 7 Plus and yeah, it works very good. I don't even use my home button anymore. That's how good. I personally think it is. I just use the swipe bar and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any other suggestions of videos that I should make or any other content you want to see, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. All the links will be in the description below. And yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos that I'll be making. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys.